I've learned so much from my dog. Our pets and our kids are great teachers in the Earth School. I have a confession to make, and I don't feel good about this, but sometimes I feel like I don't love my dog as much as I should. James Dean is named after famous bad boy actor James Dean from the 50s. And he certainly lives up to his name. He's a bad boy, all right. A well-known dog trainer says there are no bad dogs, only bad owners. I guess maybe he's not so much a bad dog as a difficult to train dog for me anyway. My last dog, Lucy, was so easy. She was such an angel. She was so lovable, so easy to train, no trouble at all. I have never cried so hard in my life as I cried the day that Lucy died. The groomer that we used to take our dogs to, Lucy, oh, they loved her so much. And then James bit the groomer and is no longer welcome there. Social media shows us <laughs> a lot of pet content. Adorable little pets, uh, sometimes adorably mischievous pets, uh, but we never see the tantrums, the screaming fits, the anger and frustration of the dog owners. That's a very real part of my experience. And I always feel guilty after. James goes crazy. Uh, barking fit, jumping at the doorknob, breaking his teeth out, literally broke a tooth out, jumping at the doorknob. Um, and yet he continues and it just, it's so startling. Sometimes I'll be ready to fall asleep and he'll hear something outside and it just makes me jump and I lose it. It's just, I start yelling at him and it doesn't help. I know that's not the right way to go about it. And then I always feel bad after. And it reminds me a lot of my dad. When my dad would yell at me, it's so similar. It's such a lesson. It's so clear that I'm learning this because I need to learn this to understand my dad more and forgive my dad fully for the way he treated me as a child. Uh, he would be home from work and, and relaxing and I would do something. I would make noise or laugh or just be a kid, you know, as kids are. And he would flip out and scream at me and yell at me. And then later he would feel bad and he would come and, you know, try and try and talk to me or something. But I would be stubborn and not uh, respond. I would just ignore him. And uh, it's so clear. that the way James acts is important. It's important for me to see this, to feel how my dad felt with me. I will never have children, but having pets is the closest I will get to having children. And uh, the experience of being a pet father is teaching me so much about my own father. Everything is a lesson. You can learn from everything. Every moment in your life, the universe is presenting you with lessons to learn, to grow, to improve, to understand. Uh, yeah, that's all the universe wants. The universe is helping you. It's, it's all for you. And once you get past it, your lesson is learned. So I continue to try to be a better father to James. He deserves it. He's a teacher for me. He's a tough teacher, but he's a great teacher. And uh, I just keep trying. If you're a parent out there and you feel like you fail sometimes, um, 
I'm sure that's how my dad felt toward the end of his life. He felt like he had failed with us. You could see it in his eyes. He couldn't speak any longer, but uh, you could see it. And I understood it just by being with him and looking at him and what he was expressing through his eyes was, I'm so sorry. I was such a bad father to you when you were very young and I'm sorry. And James is still alive and I'm still able to function. So I still have a chance to turn it around. Every day I try to be more patient, to be kinder and more understanding. He's a dog, he needs discipline, he needs training. And although I've tried many different training methods and none of them have worked, I still have a chance. I can keep, still keep trying. Just like we all keep trying every day, living our lives and trying to be better, better every day. So, um, yeah. Everybody's a teacher. Your pets are your teachers. Your kids are your teachers. So learn and love them and appreciate them.